of a go to UNBC, but the parking meters now say fee paid, pay more. And that just really got to me. So it, it just feeds into the whole capitalism thing again. I, I think that post-secondary education should be free, and considering it's not, they should at least not charge you an arm and a leg for parking, but whatever. So here's my poem about that, that was inspired by that. Speaking to a capitalist, when you say, when you say green university, is green a euphemism for money? Is it a metaphor for the substance bled from students in exchange for the possibility of better opportunities in their future? I put a quarter in the ticket dispenser at the UNBC parking lot, and it reads, fee paid, pay more, as if the machine speaks for the whole educational institution. Our ancestors lobbied for free education, not fee education, but the system cannot run as it does if anyone can become empowered. When you say server, is that a euphemism for surf? Am I here to aid the modern CEO vassals in their quest to engorge themselves on oversized portions while across the ocean the peasants are wasting away and I am struggling to put food on my own table? I once asked a gentleman if he could please not read over my shoulder while I split up his bill. He said it was brave for someone in my position to say something like that to a customer. Perhaps the reason the USA is a military nation is that, like the Spartans, the outnumbered CEOs fear a slave's revolt. When you say human, is that a euphemism for drone? Do you see cogs and gears in place of bones and sinew, reducing the whole to a mere machine and its functions? I measure my own existence in shifts. 9 to 5, 5 to 9, 5 to 5, 9 to 9, the hours don't matter anymore. Only the result or product of my labor is counted. Maybe someday Monsanto will create genetically modified people, specifically engineered to clean or weld or cook, that expire if they entertain a communist or socialist idea. When you say democracy, do you mean dictatorship? Does it matter which puppet I choose on election day when big business is pulling all of the strings? I drive past the Walmart in my neighborhood, which has become a Walmart superstore with giant sliding doors like a ravenous mouth. It seems ready now to devour any ethical commercial outlets that get in the way of its super expansion. The lines between government regulation offices and big business boardrooms blur until all the faces are the same so no one can slay the monster that is Walmart. When you say capitalism, is that a euphemism for corruption? Does free enterprise mean you are free to participate in the enterprise of concentrating the resources of many into the hands of a few? I too am sucked, in spite of myself, into the conveyor belt world of production and consumption. To investigate the latest human rights violation, I too Google it on my new iPhone. Citibank mortgage lenders continue to make underhanded foreclosures that contribute only to their bottom line. Where will we put our stuff when they make us all homeless? Big business doesn't care. It's about money, and that is the only bottom line when you are speaking to a capitalist.